It's hello from Newton Grange, or Newton as the locals call it. It's Newton Grange Star versus Thornton Hibs, Eastern Scotland League, first division. Aye, well, Newton Grange Star were one of the five teams last season that were balloting out for three promotional spaces. They just missed out. I reckon this season they'll be the team that'll get promotion. But you never know. Aye, there's a something there to kick off us about 10 past seven. We will later today. Held up a little bit, eh? So, I might not get any interviews, but we'll see what I can get before the game. So, I've got the, the manager, one of the longest serving managers in uh, Scottish football yep. with me today. <laughs> well done. Well, congratulations for getting promotion last season. How are you finding this league? It's, it's tougher, isn't it? Yeah, it's much tougher. Every team's kind of on the same wavelength and they can beat each other. Yeah. So, it's very, very difficult. Different from last year, yeah. So, is that a case of maybe establishing yourself in this league? Um, is that your sort of main aim? Yeah, I think so. Uh, last year we played a lot of cup, well, last couple of years, a lot of cup ties against higher leagues, higher higher teams, yeah. and we done okay with them. Can we beat them? Lost a couple, but we know we can compete with the best if we play our own game. Okay, thanks very much. Ah, I wonder, there was just a the kick off there, thought I'd have to kick off. I wonder what the delay was. There was a good number official there yeah, with a flag. So the ref had to delay kick off. Oh, there's a shot there. First shot there, uh, just a new game star. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's it. One note in the game. So is it going to be a drink shot drink or a... I don't know.
Well, that's a second corner in it, Grange. Oh, it's missed. Oh. I'll oh, put the goalies and the players down. There's a shot there, oh, on target, good save by the goalie, oh, must have been offside or something. No chance for New Grange.
<laughs> yeah, oh, you're looking well. So, <laughs> what did I get there first half then? You'll be glad you got these two later goals, eh? They were great goals. The second and the third goal were great goals. The first one was great as well. Yeah. I'll let you speak in a minute. But uh, they controlled the game for a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, but we've started to uh, pick goals in their defence a little bit. But yeah. they, were, they were great goals. Oh, they were. Terrific. Be yeah, I think the same. Uh, we started to take control. Uh, we played some really nice stuff. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the, the second and third goal. I missed the first goal, but the second and third goal were really good. Ah, and, good uh, goal. Yeah, yeah, it looked like they played some nice stuff. So fingers crossed to keep up in the second half. Okay. We get a few more. Aye. And the pie was really nice. <laughs> it always is a nice <laughs> pie here, eh? Right, okay. Thanks very much, guys. Tuffer's great seeing you. What did they get game? Uh, I think it's been quite a good game to be fair. I think uh, they didn't get an early goal, it was good for them. Yeah. Thornton came forward and I think they were actually on top for a bit but missed the penalty and that's came back to haunt them because yeah, they've got two quick far goals at the end of the half. Yeah. So 3 0 half time, can't see anyway back for Thornton now. And you've got a flag I've seen for Bunnerig Rose. The Porters Club flag came today. Obviously, we'll have that at both the men's and the women's games going forward and uh, I just something to, to support both teams. Good stuff. See you later. Cheers, so Ryan, Ryan and Rolf. There's Ralph there. Hey Ralph. Hey Ryan, how are you, you doing? doing? Uh, good morning, how are you? Interesting game, eh? Uh, it's been really good. I expected a wee bit more for Thornton, to be honest. Uh, uh, I think the penalty miss has probably killed him. Aye. Uh, but we've had a chance to get back in the game. Yeah. They were 1-0 down, they got the penalty, which they missed. Yeah. Uh, but they've got a chance to get back in the game. Aye. Uh, they were 1-0 down, they got the penalty, which they missed. Yeah. Uh, they missed. No, that, could have, that could have changed the game, but... They missed that and then they conceded a couple of goals, but right. to be fair to that, and the second goal in particular was oh an absolute aye, cramp. Aye, beautiful goal. Uh, but I've watched that a few times this season, so I'm not surprised aye. that they're, they're winning, but I thought it might be a bit of a tighter game. Did you watch Arniston a lot as well, don't you? Aye, and uh, knitting Arniston is actually Saturday, so aye. I'm looking forward to that as well. So you think you'll be going to that? I'll be going up to that one as aye. well, that should be a good game, but aye. Aye, good, good to see
Oh, but there you go. From where I was standing, I thought it was in the box, it's uh, just on the line. There's a three man wall, or four man wall. Oh, over the wall, oh, just over the floor. Oh, oh good save. Oh, there we go. Thing. The last time I spoke to you was East House Lolly. I think it was. I think it was in the back of the in the back of the stand. Ah, sweet. So you're still doing that again? I yeah? am. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I've been enjoying it. Disappointed in Thornton tonight. I have to say, yeah. Newton Grange were never in any great danger. No. It might have been different if Thornton had scored the penalty yeah. that they missed when it was one, when they were only one 0 down. That's but, right. Uh, no, I think Thornton are a better team than he showed tonight, but credit yeah. to Newton Grange, maybe the star did not let them play. No. Uh, some nice goals. Ah, they were good goals, eh? Black Diamond Radio, we shout out then. Yeah, yeah. okay, uh, please listen to us on a Saturday, on a Saturday afternoon and a Wednesday evening, Wednesday Sport Live, Saturday Sport Live, surprisingly enough. Uh -huh, I'll let so you guess which one's on which, which day, but uh, 3 till 6 on a Saturday, 6 till 8 on a Wednesday evening. 
And then Russell Aitkins, the man in the hot seat, and uh, Russell's always there uh, trying to keep you abreast with uh, a lot of variety of sports, yeah. uh, but uh, obviously a lot of East of Scotland yeah. and Lowland League football, that's, that's what we do, so if you need a wee fix, Black Diamond FM. Chris, although I thought you ended up quite comfortable the night, uh, I won no. Uh, you know, they got a penalty, so it must have been a bit dodgy there. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, it, was a, it was a really tight game, I thought, in the first half. We yeah. obviously won the up quite early, um, but they had they had spells and then they got the penalty. Yeah. Uh, if they score that, it's obviously a different game, but yeah. they miss a the penalty. We then score two quick goals and go in at half-time 3 nil up, looking quite That's comfortable, a, yeah. but it definitely wasn't a, a comfortable game. You hadn't got these two late goals, uh, uh, you know, one nil at half-time. Uh, uh, I mean, if it was one at half time, we would have 100% taken that and hoped to build on it the second yeah. half. Uh, however, the, the two late goals uh, in the end of the first half obviously completely change everything. Uh, you're then 3 0 up. Uh, you just have to make sure nothing stupid. You know, you do the basics and you, and you make sure you keep it tight at the back. You didn't need to score any more goals. Um, but we went off uh, second half, obviously, we went and killed it. And then after that, the boys managed the game pretty well. We kept the ball well. We used the width of the pitch really well. Uh, we made them do a lot of running. And, uh, Again, limited them to, to very, very little uh, chances. The, yeah. the whole game, really, apart from the penalty, I didn't, didn't really remember Shea having to do too much. So it's been good. And and I know it's early in the season, but you missed out on promotion last season. So that'll be your aim this season, surely. Aye, I mean, um, last season was obviously our, our first year, first full year in um, management here at the first team. Um, I feel like we've improved the team a lot in, in, the, in the year. Um, but aye, as you say, we ultimately missed out on promotion, which a club in Newton Grange size, we want to be competing in the Premier League. Um, but we've got a young team, we've not got massive uh, backing in terms of financially that a lot of the teams that got promoted and, and even some of the teams in the league have got. So we're, we're bringing youth players through for the under 20 set up. Yeah. Um, we're putting them in the team, you know, we're trusting them. Um, and and aye, it's, it's going really well. So if we, if we can get promoted this season, obviously that would be, that'd be a great achievement. Okay, thank you.